Hi Gemini, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. Thank you very much for all your likes and shares. Uh, it has been absolutely phenomenal. Um, the reactions that I'm getting on the uh, transparent tarot and I'm using it again because I'm going to show you a third way, a different way that you can use the decks and it's really, I love this deck, I really do. But there's lots of things happening. There's also the first episode of the English Witch Georgina, the series of the Witches series, up and running. And there's more coming and we're having lots of fun. It's really motivating us to enhance our own health and strength. And I, this, these books and these discussions are really great. And we have just entered Libra. Oh, we're going to enter Libra between the 21st and the 23rd because the uh, astrological uh, signs have shifted. Uh, the times have shifted, apparently. Um, I didn't know that. I heard that from uh, Georgina. S um, the, because the planets are in, in different alignment or something. So the standard uh, European calendar every 21st of the month um, they have changed and um, if you go to the Libra energy video then you will see that indeed it is changing uh, or because I've done the research and I've looked it up and it's going in we're going into Libra the 22nd 23rd and also the full equinox uh, is also the Maybon uh, and in the name of the Maybon festivity, that's the harvest festivity in the calendar of the pagans and the Wiccans, and also that is in our language, autumn. So three is very, very significant. Something, three things are happening. Okay, so creativity and productivity, that is what three means for me. Now I'm using the uh, uh, gosh, the um, Everyday Witch Tarot, and I'm using the Transparent, and the Oracle card, and a Romance Oracle. Okay, let's get started, Gem Gems, because uh, I see there's quite a positive reading again, and uh, in the Romance reading of this month, I think, um, it, it did say that in, in the third week, uh, something was going to happen. So this is quite uh, magical because it's about finances, if I remember correctly. And I've been look watching at other readers as well, and like Tinker Tarot and um, Brenda Tarot readings. And uh, this month is really supposed to be the wow month for the Gemini's financially. Okay, let's get going because we've got finance here as well. We start off with a finance card and we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So you might be getting a gift or winning the lottery or uh, getting a promotion. And you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Happy families. There will be a reunion with family and friends perhaps. There might be an expansion in the family. This doesn't have to be just a child. It can be a dog or a cat. And I love these drawings. I really do love the everyday witch. It's beautiful. They're cute and they're so modern. They're, it, this is a tarot deck that uh, enhances uh, the tradition, but also the modern way of life. Like the chariot is a motorbike. <laughs> I love the humor in this deck. And I'll come back to this later. I'm going to first do the Everyday Witch, and then midweek we have Justice. You might not be seeing it, because she's got a blindfold on it, but it could also mean that um, somebody might have hurt you, and you were out of balance, and now you are back in balance, because justice will be done. You will get what you deserve, and also they will get what they deserve. And the angels are showing number 11 here, which is a doorway to a new beginning. 
they have your back they have taken care of it so that you get can get justice but justice could also represent libra so there might be a libra that don't has done you wrong or has helped you to get justice awesome then we have the high priestess and here we see the number 11 again the two pillars which is a doorway to in this deck two candle candlesticks showing us the light side and the dark side we can't do without each each other that this is also a way of um, expressing balance so you've got balance here balance there listen to your intuition listen to your or look at your dreams listen to your dreams uh, listen to new ideas or that come into your head this is your higher self and the angels telling you don't worry it will be all right you don't have to look into the crystal ball and guess um, but listen to your inner self okay you by all means you can look at the crystal ball um, but actually that's what you call squiring squiring with the crystal ball and that it you can see things in a crystal ball it doesn't have to be crystal it has to be made of some kind of crystal crystal quartz or a gemstone rose quartz some people uh, I have a rose quartz crystal a smoky quartz and you see loads of shadows in it and other things it's really magnificent I love squiring okay so listen to your spiritual self and play your cards close to your chest because the high priestess doesn't tell anything okay she keeps her secrets she's got all the books usually she's got one book and here because it's a witch's deck she uh, the book is the crystal uh, ball okay she doesn't show uh, all the secrets that she that she knows the answers to okay because she can move this is the doorway to the underworld and the normal world so go within and be more spiritual you might be high more highly sensitive uh, around the 21st second and third okay premonitions might be running high okay and this uh, this reading is from the 21st to the 27th Gemini so don't worry in that uh, I think you most probably be the beginning of the week you will be and midweek you'll be uh, feeling sensitive okay it could even last up to Friday okay don't get distraught okay the angels have your back they're showing you 11 and you're moving up and onwards you're moving from 10 to 11 awesome justice will be done and here you've got the world and you've got number 21 you at 21 this is the last card in the deck okay so you're coming to an end of a phase okay and th one and three is creative and at the beginning of the video I said three is important creativity and productivity you will see the uh, uh, the productivity the results good results coming towards you you've got ten ten again oh no sorry uh, uh, yeah because I'm saying an end of a phase a new beginning yes but so is ten that is also an ending a new beginning okay it's here this week it should be here this week I've been saying it for months but I have seen and experienced a lot of positive changes um, within my own life and things have come to an ending and a new beginning going up a level that could be um, that you might be getting a promotion or you finally have got this job and that you've been hoping for and that will bring in the money every month wow great stuff it could be a race it could be a promotion it could also be the next level in a relationship or a friendship turning into a relationship this could be with a Libra 
or I think this could be with a Pisces because the High Priestess is the goddess of the moons she represents that and the moon represents Pisces so it could be with a Pisces and um, the world also means if uh, karma it's a karma card what goes around comes around what goes up must come down so if somebody's done you wrong or good they will get their karma threefold back in the same if you've done good or, or, or bad you will be receiving your karma okay <coughs> um, you could be moving home you could be downsizing or upsizing you could be uh, wishing uh, that you had a home on the beach or by the beach so you might even be buying your home on the beach Woo! you might be moving from an apartment or from the city to the beach absolutely gorgeous now we're going back to the transparent tarot and you've got the ace of pentacles you've got the star you've got the king of swords that is you gemini and we've got libra again the scales justice so wow gemini and libra you've been dominant in a lot of readings up till now you've got the ace of pentacles above the ten of pentacles new job a new house something that's durable and for long term that is as solid as a pound okay and we're going to put that on top of that and the ace of pentacles means you could be meeting a Virgo a Taurus or a Capricorn and you might be getting married to one of these and look at the pentagram right slam bam thank you ma'am in the middle of the couple so there you are you are in the spotlight there you go Jimmy joining forces this could this could also not only with family but you might be joining forces with somebody in the family um, that is what I'm feeling you might be uh, joining up a uh, as a partner <coughs> in business that will bring in big bucks now we have the star the star means that you might be meeting an Aquarius Aquarius is also an air sign you are in the spotlight because not only the moon and the Sun is a, a gives light um, and which is a spotlight which will show you light on your path but the star as well so you are being noticed okay boom when there is a spotlight there's also illumination the truth will come out justice will be done look at that right on top of the scales that that's the star that and it's also like a pentagram I don't know whether you can see it if I move it slightly but it's right on the scales there you go press it down a bit there you are you might just see the shadow right on top of the scales so you will be brought back in to balance then we've got the king of swords and he's looking at the justice card and the star so Gemini this is you look you are rising this is the witch but the king is right it, it looks like he's rising from the chair and doing that with the sword justice truth you are fighting look do you see that there you go so there could be a Libra the king is really Gemini but it could be a Libra or a Capricorn bringing you justice fighting for you to get clarity as the king of swords uh, has wisdom knows the letter of the law and he will fight and he will cut straight through to the core right to the center to get to the truth awesome and because uh, it could also be an Aquarius because it's lying between uh, the scales 
which is justice again so you've got two justice cards it could be Libra or Aquarius or the king of swords which is um, Gemini so you've got the three air signs here the power of justice the air element justice communication and wisdom wow it is really the power of three with you this month okay like the Holy Trinity okay this is powerful stuff this is really powerful for me anyway justice will be done Ooh, look at this you are in balance you're happy you're celebrating it's straight in the in the half of the the card you've got your house your house your family is important is in balance look at that that house is right in the back of you okay let's have a look and the future that's it's, it's just you've got a picnic life will be a picnic you've got a drink there celebrating wow I didn't see that before you know you have decks for a couple of years and you take them out again and you see a lot of things so justice you'll be celebrating shortly and this could be around the 27th or the, the end of the month the energy might even flow over into the next week <gasps> Woo! okay Libra and we're going into Libra energy so Libra is here Libra is there and then we've got the Aquarius here Gemini there and Libra there so Libra is going to be a major major important month for you or weeks okay I'm going to put them back now um, and abundance I didn't sort it out I was shaking the cards this card has been coming out two three times now so abundance abundance Libra will be uh, the time of abundance I think for everybody they will see a lot of returns in Libra mind you we are in the harvest time the fall equinox and Membom Membom Marbon uh, festivities that's the celebration of the harvest so it is coming true for me this year hopefully healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents well I haven't got any parents because they passed away but for those that have parents there could be some issues but there will be abundance and happiness because you are making a new start and you're building it on solid ground okay you've got two houses in your reading so amazing beautiful reading so I wonder what this means for a lot of people yeah well you know the, it you can take this as the romance card or you can take it as a general card uh, healing family issues healing family issues yeah, I'm just thinking uh, let me let me ask them like some of you might have uh, uh, had a dispute about a house or about an inheritance because this also means an inheritance but the angels are saying there could have been a dispute about an inheritance forgive and it, because this will c come back karma like I said karma uh, karma 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 the world the karma card it will come back threefold to you so if you have been bickering about something about family issues uh, inheritance perhaps or selling a house then it will come back onto you and it does affect your relationship with your partner or with family so try to settle down rise above it okay because the justice will be done you will get what you deserve wow this is big stuff 
is mind blowing. Okay, well, uh, I don't know about that because my parents, my father has already passed away th for about 40 years or something like that. Yeah, 40 years. Wow, that's a long time. And my mother for 16 years, so I don't have to worry about inheritance. Okay, well. Uh, I don't know what that has to resonate with uh, uh, with me. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. But uh, the money or something uh, that's durable, tangible, uh, that could last for a long time, will be brought back to you in one way or another. Or if somebody has burnt your house down, let me put it that way, you'll be compensated because um, the... Uh, the the court will rule in your case and um, yeah how'd you say that if you if the or if your house has been taken off you because of COVID and you didn't have that job uh, you uh, you might have uh, applied for a stagnation in mortgage whilst you're not working but now you are getting back to work you're most probably going to get a promotion you know even a better job than before I'm just thinking out loud okay so justice will be done the truth will come out the king of souls Wow okay I hope you've enjoyed it please like and share and I hope to see you in the life and if you want to stay up up to date then please keep on following me because there are free giftaways in the autumn. Okay, take care and be blessed.